choose all properties of an object which need to be known to determine or calculate the momentum of an object. Uh, that seems, I mean, I can give you the answer, but I'm looking at the time. Well, <laughs> I'll give you the answer. So um, you do need a moment, a direction of motion because momentum includes the direction. Uh, you do need speed. Um, you do need mass. And kinetic energy is an iffy. Uh, if you know it, you could use it to calculate it. Uh, let me check it for now. So uh, kinetic energy and speed are almost uh, interchangeable. They give you the same kind of idea. Um, mechanical energy, because it could involve potential energy, is not as useful. Force, you don't need it. Density, you don't need it. Position, you don't need it. So they should be correct, I guess, except for kinetic energy. <laughs> <laughs> Again, kinetic energy is a little bit of an iffy <laughs> because if you already know speed, then you don't need the kinetic energy. Um, so that's the answer. For more detailed explanation, I'll just have you read the section so that, um, yeah. Um, and it, really what this is getting at is uh, your textbook for some reason doesn't give you this uh, um, expression, which I think I do give you in the lecture slides, which is the expression for momentum. Momentum is given by mass times velocity. And so mass, you see mass there. And really velocity, it's a speed with a direction. There's a mathematical way to represent it um, in a more qualitative term, in a more descriptive term, uh, what velocity means is a speed. You know how fast something is going and you know in what direction it's going. So that's uh, what's selected here. Okay.